cherish the ground in which your Chiefs will play. It's never been used before, never been played on, not until Super Bowl Sunday. Ed Mangan and his crew, they really tore things up here at Hard Rock Stadium. We fully removed the field that was in here uh, down to the sand and uh, resurfaced it completely. Mangan says it's important the playing field is durable for those pre-game festivities, the halftime show, the post-game show, and of course, the big game itself. So a field that's already endured eight regular season games just will not do. Years. Uh, we started this grass uh, almost two years ago in preparation for this. So it's not something that's you know, produced every day in a natural uh, environment. Uh, this is a special type of grass. For the first time ever, crews are using grow lights to tend to the playing field. Who's going to win? The field. Not all crew members are so diplomatic, however. This is a great one. and. Uh, like I say, uh, I'm pulling for the Chiefs. I work for the Chiefs. You may know this face. It's George Toma. For years, he was the lead groundskeeper at Arrowhead Stadium. He's been part of the grounds crew for Super Bowls one all the way. This one, my 54th. Meaning he came in at ground level. It's a great uh, honor to be do all 54 Super Bowls from the first one uh, with the Chiefs and the Packers. And now we have the Chiefs and the 49ers. And winning a Super Bowl will be hallowed ground for all of Chiefs Kingdom, including the groundskeeper that helped start this big game from the ground up.